If you didn't know it when he touted the magical effects of green coffee extract weight loss supplements, you know it now. Dr. Oz, along with some of his medical entertainment, meditainment, colleagues are not giving you accurate medical advice. At least, not all the time. Talk shows like Dr. Oz and the Doctors are entertaining, sure, but when taken to task, about 50% of the medical advice given on the shows was either not substantiated by the best available evidence or contradicted altogether. Actual medical researchers not on a TV show or supplements payroll published a study in the British Medical Journal after reviewing 479 pieces of medical advice from 40 randomly chosen episodes of both shows and found medical support for 46% of Dr. Oz claims and 63% of the doctor's claims. The takeaway is that you should be dubious about medical advice given on talk shows. No kidding. Let's go back to the green coffee weight loss pills I mentioned off the top. Breathlessly, emphatically, Dr. Oz proclaimed the power of these miraculous green coffee extract diet drugs, and sales went through the roof. This obviously prompted an FTC investigation, which resulted in the very flawed study supporting the extract's efficacy being pulled. By the way, the study was funded by Applied Food Sciences, a company which, say it with me, sells green coffee extract. But while Dr. Oz, the host, proclaimed the drug, Dr. Mehmet Oz, cardiothoracic surgeon of note, was not so quick to do so when called before Congress, stating that his touted weight loss supplements don't pass scientific muster, and that there is no magical bill, and that good diet and exercise are necessary for long-term weight loss. Well, you don't say. But that's all not the biggest problem of finding that medical talk shows are just talk a lot of the time. It's that they're entertainment. Do viewing audiences for these shows really watch these shows for free, sound medical advice? Or is it for entertainment, inspiration, motivation? Before Congress, Dr. Oz called himself a cheerleader on the show, saying that was his job. Not to be a source of principle, not to stand by the Hippocratic Oath, to cheer on. Do we see the problem there? The goal of these shows leans more entertainment than medicine, so it stands to reason that the audience doesn't care about the British Medical Journal findings and doesn't care to seek and research on their own. And entertainment isn't a bad thing. Motivating oneself to live better is not a bad thing. But wearing a mask of medical integrity, parading sales pitches as authority from a medical doctor, that's not just a bad thing, that's a potentially dangerous thing. Common sense, skepticism, advocacy, seeking out if only these things were as sexy as miracles.